picture you're a farmer in Africa. You have thousands of acres of grazing land and you're reliant on these crops to feed your cows and your family. But where there was once leaves, now there's just bare stalks and insects everywhere that you look. There are even some marching towards your maize field. Unlike last year, these are not locusts. These are the African armyworm. Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a PhD student at Rothamsted Research and Lancaster University. Contrary to the name, these are not worms. Instead, they are insects. To be more specific, they are the caterpillar stage of the African armyworm moth. Severe outbreaks can reach 1,000 caterpillars per metre squared. But by this point, it is often too late to save your field. Instead, you need to do something as soon as you notice more than 200 small caterpillars per 1,000 plants. Or if the caterpillars are larger, as few as 20 can damage your crop. 20 caterpillars. Have you been lucky? Will your crop prove grow? Will you only lose 9% of your crop? Or will everything be gone? If everything is gone, your only answer is to replant. But you don't have enough seed. Luckily, the African armyworm outbreaks are few and far between. But severe outbreaks can leave families without food on their plates, require international aid and mass spraying of insecticides. But insecticides can be expensive and kill the natural insect predators of the African armyworm. Scientists are working hard to understand plant chemistry to find a different control method to insecticides. Plants have natural defences. They can release chemicals into the air to attract natural insect predators or repel other insects. Plants can also change leaf chemistry to make their leaves bitter, less nutritious or even toxic to the insect. The insect then leaves the plant as the plant naturally repels them. Like you and I, plants can communicate with one another. If I were to scream, then you would know that I was in trouble and plants scream too. They scream to warn nearby plants of danger, telling them to increase the speed and strength of their defences. Unlike our screams, plant screams are actually chemicals. Scientists use air entrainment to collect plant chemicals and compare plant screams. Here I have two plants, one with caterpillars and one without caterpillars. I will enclose the plants in a bag to collect the chemicals emitted from the plant. I will use a constant stream of purified air to pull the air into the collection tube where they are trapped. These chemicals are analysed by a machine, the gas chromiography mass spectrometer. These chemicals can be identified and comparisons can be made between plants. This is kind of like a plant being breathalyzed. But we are interested in all the chemicals that we collect, not just the alcohol. Scientists are testing if biopesticides can control the African armyworm and boost the plant's natural defences. This could be a non-harmful way to protect crops from African armyworm and reduce insecticide use. Years ago, I never would have thought that I'd be collecting the screams of plants. That sounds more like something from Harry Potter. But here I am collecting plant screams in order to do something really important to protect family farms across Africa and reduce hunger.